Right now, the world production of spirulina is around 3,000 tons of dried product per year. It should be a million tons. Today we have about uh, 10,000 children uh, in our uh, spirulina projects in, involved. Uh, obviously, uh, we want to increase these figures. We would be happy to have 100,000 and after tomorrow 1 million and if possible more. But for that we need the support of the international agencies, that means UNICEF, WHO, FAO. We, we need private support, we need foundations, for the big foundations. There are roadblocks and the biggest roadblock is ignorance in high circles. So they have not authorized the use of spirulina. We need to get authorization for use of spirulina. The potential market is huge. I mean, in rich country for the old people, we have more and more old people, and they all could enjoy spirulina. I hope for the future, uh, a great future. I am very ambitious about the, the spirulina. But I, I understood since uh, 20 years that if you have not a, a, very, a very important breakthrough of a new discovery about the properties of the spirulina, eh, it will be very difficult, very long to advance. Well, our basic activities are related to human rights and uh, right to food is a human right. In fact, it's a basic right. As long as we do not have this right to food recognized, nothing will happen, especially for children who are suffering from malnutrition. And they are officially 250 million. So we have an absolute priority to look after this right to food. And that's why we are interested in spirulina. If we could find a way of showing that spirulina is good for aid patients. Mm -hmm. It would be something extraordinary when you f think about millions of Africans mm -hmm. suffering from uh, AIDS. The SIDA is the first uh, illness about uh, health in the world. The spirulina is the second natural product it was discovered in the, in the world against the SIDA. We know that Spirulina can help aid patients. I am working against the SIDA on a new species of uh, Spirulina with a different uh, uh, type of uh, sulfolipids. You could have your giant farms for all the eight patients in the world, so it would be great. Mm -hmm. Our aim is to conscientize all these international agencies and big foundations to give the support to multiple small projects which can save thousands of children. We want a lot of family and village sized farms to take care of the remote areas. We want each country to sponsor its own spirulina program. Big farms will be mostly for uh, famine and uh, catastrophes for me. Mm -hmm. But uh, people need to have their little farms, like those people in Niger, those Tuareg in Niger. You know, they don't have money, and it's much better if they can grow themselves uh, their spirulina. In India, we have um, people uh, working on the uh, eco park, that means uh, spirulina, medicinal plants, uh, nutritional for 500 women, a uh, lot of uh, ornamental plants, ornamental fish. We want to see more established spirulina farms. We want to see more advertising of spirulina. We want to see different products. We want to see uh, spirulina as it was used by the Aztec Indians and the Kanembu people of Chad. They always mixed it with the cereals. So now if we mix it, pre-mix it with the, cal with the calorie source, we're, we're presenting a complete food. I hope it is a breakthrough, and that about if it is true, eh, the future of spirulina is open, largely open. <laughs>